<laughs> and then the curry and the booze, the curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> so I, I, I did like a fecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> 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 What's going on, everybody? Thank you for being here. Welcome to Rattle Reactions. Today, I want to react to a really funny comedian by the name of Greg Davies. And more specifically, I want to react to him on the Graham Norton show. I saw one of his uh, interviews there, and I just thought he was hilarious. I really love the way that he tells stories. His storytelling is really funny, especially for being on that type of show with uh, other type of celebrities on there, too, to make everyone laugh. And I really wanted to react to this. Uh, so I wanted you guys to definitely check it out with me. Um, but before we do that, can you guys make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And make sure everybody has the post notifications on. So you guys can get any type of post that uh, I share with you whenever I ask for a different type of reaction that I'm going to do. You guys can be a part of it and tell me what you want me to react to next. Also, make sure you guys check out all the social medias below. But before that let's check out this video Welcome all now, uh, Greg and Jude. Hello. Did you get a chance to meet Lady Gaga beforehand? No. Can, I, can I just point something out though? Oh, can yes. we stand up a minute? This yeah. is so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so, well, un it's so unfair. Uh, oh yeah, quick. To, yeah, to yeah. be oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. So will Greg I Davis. am and mere I am. Do you see mere I am? G R egg. I'll take whatever you give me, Graham. <laughs> could I just ask? Could um, is it Graham? Hey, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, Greg, I'm so you. sorry. No, Graham's fine. Greg, Greg, could you just stand up a minute? Yes. Would you mind? Yes, sir. And can I stand next to you? <laughs> oh, my God. That's very American. We, we were all standing in order of height backstage. You should have a look at this if Will comes and stands there. I think this is a great visual. <laughs> Like a math bar Very exam. Welcome. I have to say, I think, and I'm not a scientist, I think this is probably the tallest couch we've ever had. <laughs> That's what we said. We're all yeah. uh, over six foot one. No, yeah. I, I feel like I'm at the children's table. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tallest? Who's tall? You must be tall. Are you tallest? Oh, of course. Course. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'm here, petite. <laughs> 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 I'm like an ugly child. <laughs> uh, is it? Is it? I was saying to Miranda before, I get uh, a lot of suggestions on Twitter that Miranda and I should get married yeah. because we're tall. <laughs> uh, don't seem so excited by the notion. I do, I do think it's weird, though, don't you? It is quite weird. I get the, it a lot as well. They would think that Miranda and I want to start a super race together. Yeah. <laughs> Idea, and now you put it Perhaps. like that. Pushing a really long pram. Why not? Why not? That's amazing. Probably got first. Yes. Swimmers. Greg, have you met Ashton? He's visiting from Los Angeles. Hi. 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 Welcome to England. Nice to meet you. Love your blazer. Hey, thanks. Fantastic. Greg you used to be it. a teacher. Now he's an actor who plays a teacher. Oh, really? I've really moved on, Ashton. <laughs> and Heston's in catering. Catering? <laughs> 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 well, to what type of venues do you cater other than the Graham Norton show? Okay, now, yeah, that's it. here we go. This it's is it. Chef, this, is, this, is, this is our, It's sort of a starter, I would say. Is this yeah, start? this is a starter. This is a starter. Okay. Now, it looks like Little Oranges. <laughs> so, if it is Little Oranges, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> take, go on, take. Okay, so what do we... Right, we so just take, we one take, of take one of these. Okay. So take what is this? Knife. Knife? Knife, okay. Well, basically, it's a are. mandarin. Oh, so it's oh, a mandarin there. orange with it's meaty it. goo inside. <laughs> oh, it's like chicken liver. It's a mandarin meat fruit. So this is meat? It is, but it's a chicken liver parfait. I knew it. <laughs> coated knew in a mandarin it. jelly. <laughs> Sounds really nice, Aston. <laughs> Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, no, they shouldn't have to dare each other to eat your food. <laughs> your chicken liver. People pay good money for this at a restaurant. 
<laughs> so, it's about three Michelin stars that we're going, you first. <laughs> <laughs> that is chicken liver. Really nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inspired, we're working with some historians, so this has been inspired by a dish from that at all. probably about 1600. When they couldn't get oranges. <laughs> or mangoes. <laughs> or mangoes. Actually, if you go back a bit further in time, why you can wash it down with one of these. These are fried pig's nipples. <laughs> right. <laughs> so now we're nice big Sorry, can I just say, can oh, you no. see, can you see that is... Oh. You know the way that looked like an orange, but wasn't? This looks like a nipple, it and is. is. <laughs> it's like a very refined pork scratching. It's very they light. They it's got a little dusting of seaweed on it's it so as well. Delicious. You know what it has to do? It's absolutely delicious. That is really yeah. good. It's really nice. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the poshest pub in the world. That is really, really good. <laughs> and this is available in your new restaurant, Dinner. Yes. In Knightsbridge. Yeah, we opened last Monday. It's called Dinner? Sorry, it's called Dinner. Do you serve lunch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you could put a subheading, Dinner, but we also yes. do lunch. <laughs> with lunch. Oh, and then people go, do I have to have lunch? No. no. It just is <laughs> optional. You put that in a, in a third bracket. <laughs> you know, it was meant to be so simple, the original idea. But, but, but watching you, it seems like... Oh, sorry, go. No, I was just going to... It's amazing, all the historical research you do is brilliant and, and all your dishes are so creative. When you're at home and you're cooking for the kids, do you just do beans on toast or do you think, I better grate a mouse's face into this? I'm <laughs> 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 oh, the greatest of respect yeah, for your no, <laughs> no, 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 prawn cocktail. Right. Love it. Greg, you mustn't feel left out because we go to glamorous things too. Don't Quite we? Only recently we were at a BBC party. <laughs> we shared that glass of wine. It was fun. <laughs> Between us. <laughs> and we met that lovely lady. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you're bringing that lady up. Are we allowed to bring that lady up? Well, you tell me. It's your show. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, it happened to you, not me. So you tell them. What, what, what bit of it? Is... Okay. So, okay. So this, this lady came up to us. We were at a BBC party. She came up to the two of us. We were chatting. Sharing our wine, straws. And uh, <laughs> she went, I do disability at the BBC. Whatever that means. <laughs> and then she looked at him, and what did she say to you? Well, she said that I qualify. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a height thing, not the... <laughs> <A> height thing. <laughs> Oh, you know, was like, what? Since, since we had that <laughs> meeting when the lady told me that I was technically, as far as the BBC is concerned, disabled, <laughs> I've had a member of a council, I won't know where, tell me that I could get a parking badge. <laughs> The rest of the couch is so jealous right now. Parking <laughs> <laughs> badge. Hey, that? <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. 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 I, won't, I won't forget the day that Ryan Gosling high-fived me because <laughs> I'm officially disabled. <laughs> <laughs> love this shot. This is you at a GAY nightclub uh, where you're getting your ass out. Oh, yeah. And I just love... the two, That's German. I don't know who that is. And look at their eye line. <laughs> <laughs> that's, because, that's because I had it waxed. They're in a state of horror. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm the Venus. The Venus wouldn't be wax. The Venus would feel free. <laughs> She'd be proud to be a woman. Who cares? <laughs> and Greg, Greg, were you channeling the God of Love when you had this picture taken? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> magnificent. That's amazing. Do you think I look magnificent? That's yeah, very I think sweet it's of you. Beautiful. I may put that on my posters. I personally think I look like a drop trifle. <laughs> I saw my two nieces uh, this weekend just gone, and they are um, six years old and two years old. And the first things they both said to me before hello, the first niece went, Uncle Greg, we're not allowed to talk about your fat tummy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a beat. And the three year old went, You are fat. <laughs> <laughs> The best. <laughs> Pure honesty. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what he was going for. I've got um, 
My, my sister lets uh, uh, show some uh, clean bits of when I'm on TV shows, and I've got a joke that I do that freaks them out. Can I do it? Yeah. Which camera am I on? That one there? Uh, yeah. Lucy, Daisy, I'm stuck in the telly again! <laughs> <laughs> It makes the uh, it makes the younger one cry. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fat now? <laughs> Greg, you've had a, a night out with royalty. Oh, briefly. Yes, yeah. Princess Anne. Now you both look like you're having the best night. Look. <laughs> <laughs> not only was she clearly not amused by me, she's seen my act 15 minutes before that picture was taken. She clearly has no idea who I am. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks you're going to fall on top of her. Did she say anything to you? Yeah, she said this is exactly this is what she said in its entirety. She said, a lot of ex-teachers become comedians. I can't see why. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I That's grabbed her and I threw her into the lights. <laughs> <laughs> she, can I, for the record, she was very sweet. She was a very, very nice lady. <laughs> every time I hear, sure. I get this flashback, every time I hear Russell speak, I, I, I once almost drowned, Graham. I, I was swimming and I got swept out to sea in Cornwall. And I realised I was struggling. There was a surfer, and I called over to the surfer. I went, I'm really struggling here, mate. And the surfer went, oh, 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 and I realised he was drowning too. <laughs> so in the end, I was on like a boogie board. In the end, I had to ride a wave to a cliff <laughs> and, and cling onto the cliff. And it was really jagged, and I really cut my hands. And I sort of <laughs> climbed onto the cliff. I thought, oh my god! And the waves were—it was awful. <laughs> And then I saw this lifeguard coming out on, um, like, a canoe. He was really powerful, and he turned out to be Australian. And I thought, oh, thank God! And there was literally blood. And I thought, thank God, I'm saved. I'm saved. And he came right up to me and turned around and he went, Oi, mate, stop fucking around! <laughs> <laughs> That's something you would say. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely something I would say. <laughs> oh. um, I have to tell you, yes. on this couch, there is someone who has won medals for swimming. I, I could probably guess who that is. Go guess. The tallest man on the sofa. Thank you. <laughs> I knew he, was he just looks like him. he's tall. That's a swimmer's physique. No, no, that's, that's, that's why you never trust swimmer's body on a person. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you really win medals? Yes, I did, and I'm rather insulted you taking that time. <laughs> <laughs> I swam for the county, yes. Did you really? And I don't mind telling you, I cut through the water like an orca these days. <laughs> 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 because you don't, you don't just swim um, yoga. You do yoga, don't you? Well, that's been my uh, attempt to get fit recently, yeah. Really? I've been doing yoga on my own in my house. <laughs> Humiliated. It's very, it's very, very good. It's Do you know what? I bought, a, I bought a DVD, which is brilliant. I don't want a, the lady who did this DVD to think I'm being negative about it. It's, it's great. And I've done it for weeks. And I just presumed um, that the lady was some sort of yoga master of uh, her whole life and she'd trained in the Far East or something. And a mate came around and I showed it him and said, I've been doing this yoga DVD. It's absolutely brilliant. And he went, mate, she's on Emma Dale file. <laughs> She's really good. <laughs> but she's from Emmerdale. She's a lesbian <laughs> character from Emmerdale Farm. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I know in America they don't say that much on television, but I like to say it, because I think it gives people courage. Yes. No, yes. I think Listen, I've never met it, a lesbian maybe. before. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because they couldn't reach you, I think. <laughs> oh, they could reach me. I'm drawing a veil. Miriam. Romantic man. Are you... No, I've given up on it. <laughs> it stopped for me, romance, when I was about 22, when I, I bought a, a girlfriend back from college. So, and my parents got a really nice um, garden, and they were away. So I thought, well, this is... 
this is perfect. We'll go and sit in the garden and I made you a picnic. I took some food. Not pig nipples, but I hadn't been introduced to them yet. <laughs> I took some food and we sat out there and in the sun and uh, there was grass and sun and one thing led to another. <laughs> I love that. I love that line. And she, <laughs> she was where It was really romantic. I don't want to go into details. I don't want to make anyone bring their pig nipples up, but um, <laughs> she had a long flowing skirt and she sat atop me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that sounds funny. Oh. And things started to... Like a toilet roll holder. Yeah, a little bit like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, okay. like a really romantic no, toilet roll holder. Hold. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. So she was there, and it was really romantic, and the breeze, and lovely, and, uh, and I thought, well, this is awesome. This is one of the most romantic things that's ever happened between two people. Then my uh, granddad came round the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, honestly, I'm not making up, and he'd never met her before. So oh, he came round no. and went, hello, you two. <laughs> and I went, ha <laughs> She couldn't get off because it was happening. <laughs> and you could see him thinking, this is really rude of them both. It's really <laughs> rude because I've never met her before. Surely she should stand up. She couldn't. So it was a full 15 minutes. Oh! Yeah. With her like this. I mean, it's not mince our words here, Graham. In her. <laughs> <laughs> my, my granddad making polite conversation. <laughs> That was the day I gave up on romance. <laughs> oh, no, no. That, that would kill romance, yeah. Uh, Russell Crowe, I've heard about how you like challenges and stuff, and one of the shows that Greg's doing is a new series of Taskmaster. It's on Dave. Yeah. And, and it is that sort of thing. You set challenges for kind of celebrities and comedians. Yeah. But they're quite... They're kind of bonkers. The they're challenges. ridiculous, yeah. Well, they I've never seen that. Collect as, show, much, uh, as many tears in an egg cup as they can in a minute. A reaction to that uh, show. They had to buy me the really best funny. present they could, and uh, one of them had my name tattooed on his foot. <laughs> Josh Whitcomb, you know Josh Whitcomb. You're kidding. Yeah. Who can hide a pineapple on their person? <laughs> <laughs> and I think my my favourite from the upcoming series is who can impress a mayor. They were just put in a room with a local impress mayor. <laughs> A mayor? A mayor. Yeah. A mayor. Not a horse. Not a horse. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be stupid. Ridiculous. And got to mention a new series of Man Down. Please, Man please. Down is coming up on Channel 4 in July. Yeah. Uh, are you still living with your mother in it? I am, sadly, yes. <laughs> and, no, and tragically, Tragic. this is based on your life. I mean, this is things... Yeah, but... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Loosely, Graham. <laughs> no, but things like, isn't the washing machine, that happened to you. What? The, the washing. You were very hungover. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, tell Jodie Foster that story. <laughs> <laughs> All their stories are really cool, though, Graham. When I was teaching, <laughs> this is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back. And while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back, and on the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry. And then the next day, I went to school. <laughs> Man. I'm going to. I went into school, okay, and it was a school in going. Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway, I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> I got mixed up in the wash she'd done, <laughs> and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is, this is such a low point, you fucking loser. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then... The curry and the booze... The curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> so I... I, I did, like, a faecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> and I started, I started going, oh, God, not this, not this as well. No way. Oh, Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this. 
<laughs> and that's when I remembered that my I had a microphone directly. <laughs> 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 Anytime you can make Jody Foster laugh like that, oh my goodness, and Russell Crowe, like, <laughs> oh my God. that is insane. So oh maybe Man Down isn't that far fetched. <laughs> Because being so tall, because what are you, six foot eight? Eight, yeah, ridiculous height. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, you must meet that many taller people, and look, there's one now. He's a big guy. Yeah. yeah. You're a big guy. Do you, do you ever meet taller people? It's not about people? height, though, is it? Do you meet... Do, do you <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you met a taller person? I have. I met a man in America who was one foot taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> one foot. He was seven foot eight. Wow. And I just trotted out all the jokes I've had said to me over the years. Was, oh, what's the weather like up there? <laughs> <laughs> he really hated me. <laughs> and when did it happen? When did you suddenly come... Become... It all happened in one year, actually, weirdly. I was, like, six foot when I was 16, and I was six foot eight when I was 17. Yeah, strange. Wow. And did you get lots of nicknames, name-calling and stuff? Uh, yeah, not about my height. <laughs> it was a weird nickname culture at our school, but not my height, no. What was your nickname? What was it? I do a lot about this in my uh, stand-up show, oh, nicknames, yeah. because in, in my, um, in uh, our year at school my was obsessed nicknames, by nicknames, rattle, to the extent that everyone has about like 13. Nickname. And all of the nicknames had no reason for them. I think a good nickname should have no basis. Like, I, I did have a lot of, you know, tall boy and, uh, and freak <laughs> boy. and things like that. For, uh, <laughs> <high> freak. <laughs> but the one that I got called most was Fitter. That was my nickname, because they said I was an epileptic. Right. I wasn't Graham. I had mild asthma. <laughs> <laughs> that was the culture in our school of just. Uh, uh, but touring around the country, I've realised that uh, we weren't alone. You know, everybody. So many schools around the United Kingdom had nicknames that didn't really have a foundation in fact. It's been incredible. Did you, did you have a nickname? Oh, I had loads when I was younger because I used to have red hair. My hair's, hair's gone darker as I've grown older. So all the Duracell and ginger nut and stuff like that. Uh, and then uh, ceramic, somebody called me once. I'm like, what are you to ceramic? He thought my name was Blumenthal. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was there, just before, just before coming on here in the green room, having a chat, and someone was there saying, did you have a nickname? And one of the friends has got a friend with me. She said, oh, yes, uh, so and so is another chef friend of mine. Apparently, I'm now called Cheston. Cheston. Cheston? Cheston. Chester. That's, that's been a nickname going on behind my back, apparently. Why? Uh, my so chest well. is... Big. It's not... <laughs> I just do, do a bit of working out and stuff, so... Oh. Yeah, just uh, a little bit of working out, uh, just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chester. My name's like Chester. three of us do. <laughs> Check me out. I'm, I'm Chester. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Chester. I thought you were going to say you had a third nipple or something. Like a... <laughs> we, um, we asked the audience. Uh, the drink, and we did fun. get a few in. Uh, Ari, Ari Olofsson? Ari, Ari? Yeah, that's me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, 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 you. And now your nickname was? First off, the name Ari, it's Icelandic, so I'm familiar with skater. I thought I saw something. You like it? <laughs> Yeah, I do. We all like it. <laughs> Explains a lot. Hey, right, break it up, you two! <laughs> this is guy in the audience. Your nickname? Your nickname was? Right. Yeah, I, uh, I feel quite ridiculous saying this now that I've actually seen the man, but uh, a few years back, some people in Iceland actually started calling me Ashton because they thought I looked like him. <laughs> I, it's a bit an image, bud. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Graham, he has makeup on. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn, he got rebuttal. him. Rebuttal. 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 I have a rebuttal. I have a rebuttal. <laughs> I would like you to know, and I will let the world know, you can come inspect if you would like. I refuse to wear makeup on talk shows. I never do, never not once have I ever, and you can come look if you want, good sir. That's all of me, baby. <laughs> I blame the long, dark winter nights in, <laughs> in Iceland. I've got four Iceland. pounds of makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was your full name? Uh, first off, I actually quite like wearing makeup. This is my <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who is this guy? <laughs> uh, uh, you know the most 
Yes. <laughs> Weirdly aggressive Icelandic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, can... Get the angriest man alive. Move the pole. Can somebody please find this guy? <laughs> Whoever this guy is from Iceland, please find him. I want to talk to him. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have charisma like no other, man. Like, honestly, that was so funny, the way that you were interacting with them. <laughs> I don't know if you're just a plant in the show, but or if you're just a na natural fan, but that was <laughs> really funny. <laughs> find this man we got one more one more uh raymond edwards where's raymond edwards there's raymond oh raymond edwards hello now what what's your nickname bags this is good why is your nickname bags uh because at school uh the guys reckon that my balls look like two pieces of fruit hanging in a plastic bag <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, sir. Oh, Ray. Oh, my God. I love that. Ray, That's when was strong. this? When you were in school? Yeah. What must they look like now? <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually he can practice playing football while he's walking down the street. Two <laughs> legs in a bin bag. Awesome. <laughs> Davis, you're very busy at the moment. Uh, no, you are so busy. Yeah, we're talking to him now. Talk to him again. I turn my attention. Your sitcom Man Down, it's on Friday to Channel 4. That's correct, Graham. It Gigging is. all the time. And he has a DVD out. Ooh. Yes, he does. Uh, yeah. Which has been released remember all those. in one go. You guys remember those? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you that Absolutely. Yeah. Just it's splurged. A great big stream of it. <laughs> yeah. Just. Ribbons of it. Now it's called. It's called the back of, oh. Oh. What's it called? It's called. I said, it's called the back of my mom's head. What? Oh. <laughs> now, is that your actual mother? Is that your mother? It is my mum's head. Yeah, I went to the seaside with my mum and dad, <laughs> and I took a, I took a picture. My mum was looking out to sea, <laughs> and uh, and I was looking at the. Uh, land and I took a picture and it just looked like I was standing next to a massive grey microphone. It made me <laughs> but that that picture I had to recreate it because the picture on my phone wasn't good enough, so I had to drive back up to where my mum lives. Judging from that picture, I'm about the same height as your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try it out? How tall yeah, are you? <laughs> are they? <laughs> This is my <laughs> back of Jude Law's home. But now, lots of comedians talk about their families. Yes. But your family does. I mean, if you aren't exaggerating, and I sort of think you aren't. No, your family is, I mean, really properly bonkers. <laughs> all families are, though, aren't they? No, yours more than most. <laughs> <laughs> no, because everyone's family is a bit weird. weird. But yours is like social services should come around. <laughs> They're watching this. I've already heard. <laughs> no, is it, is it true that you actually go around with a notebook and just wait for things? It's absolutely true. But my... I don't think my family are any more bonkers than anybody else, but my dad has got history. <laughs> He's provided me with half my material. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know I should say... Yes, I will say this. Go on, say <laughs> I love them. My dad did I love a they say that. wind up on me um, a couple of years ago. My dad's really, uh, he's a really proud Welshman. And we were on a long car journey together, and he said that he thought it was, and I quote, sickening that I knew nothing about my Welsh heritage, <laughs> and he wanted to teach me a traditional Welsh song. Sing so it. He, so he taught it me, and I will sing it, June. Thank you. Oh, sing it. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Here it is. Mar wyddan y bodd, jab yr ffwny tullin, mar mwnchi dan y coedan, chwar o'i afwy tatws. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, nice. very I thought it was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's exactly. Yeah. I, uh, it took me ages to learn it, and my dad said he was really proud of me, and it was one year later, one year later, that I sang it to a Welsh friend of mine, expecting <laughs> them to be impressed, and he goes, I don't, what, wait, what the hell's that? <laughs> and I said, it's a beautiful traditional Welsh hymn. <laughs> it's not even and a he Welsh goes, song. no, it isn't, Greg, I've never heard the song before, and do you know what it means? <laughs> and I said, I don't know what it means, and here is the direct translation. The squirrel is under the table, ram it up my ass. <laughs> the monkey is in the tree playing with its potatoes. <laughs> I used to be into the, uh, when I was a kid, I used to be into the Booyah tribe. Yeah. Do you know them? 
Those big Samoans. Yeah. You know those guys? You must know them. Hit the gas. Put on a ski mask. Right where we pass. What you think? This. Rid smoke that ass. I reacted to this one before when I watched Mary and Margaret. Oh. Let me do the second verse. This ain't a game, straight up reality. Driven by the streets, born by insanity. Drive by, yes, it's the season. When the gangster kills for no reason. When an MC sitting on a front porch, stick him like a pitchfork. This is not New York. Mm. Wow. Look at Mary Margulies just oh, chilling in the middle there. No, no, no. no. That was the, the Booyah those tribe. Those are the words of, the, of a song. The Booyah, of Booyah tribe. Booyah. Booyah. You know, I'm missing out here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to kick it in a rap right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm missing out here. You better feel. Don't say like in here. <laughs> 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 nice, nice, nice. Well, that was, <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Like, Greg Davies definitely is a hilarious storyteller and i gotta give it to him <laughs> he he obviously made a lot of people laugh on that graham norton show couch and honestly if you can make people like ryan gosling like laugh like that like he couldn't hold together and you had russell crowe a guy that's so stoic he was laughing and jody foster honestly i haven't seen her laugh like that ever uh especially like being interviewed and she just like was having a lot of fun listening to that story that he was telling that was he tells some wild stories and i'm sure all the stories are true and he's a comedian so he definitely takes uh, stuff from his life and you know tells it like it is um if you guys want to watch more stuff like this and you want me to react to more stuff like this make sure you guys like the video down below and click that subscribe button also make sure you click the bell so you guys can get the post notifications on and you guys can check me out whenever i put on new uploads or i have polls for whatever i'm going to be reacting to next and you guys get a chance to choose also if you guys want to check me out on patreon where we can do full movie reactions and also full tv show reactions you can uh, definitely uh check me out there also my show socials are down below you could definitely um follow me anywhere facebook instagram tiktok and make sure that you guys check check me on the next route of reactions we're going to be doing a lot more stuff like this so make sure you guys like the video we'll see you guys next time and we'll see everybody again <laughs>